Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the new HID Evolution EVOC P870TM1. This is a 17-inch gaming laptop with desktop level performance. I want to give a big thanks to the guys over there at HID Evolution for sending this unit out for review. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's go and break down the specs. You're getting a Core i7-8700K, which is a desktop CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, GTX 1080 with 8GB of video memory, 512GB SSD, and best of all, this is running a Prima BIOS where it gives you total control of the laptop, and the retail price starts at a whopping $2,970. I'll post a link in the description for more details at hideevolution.com. The top section of this laptop is made out of all plastic, and it does have a pretty good looking design, however this thing is heavy like a tank. It comes in at 12.13 pounds and 1.86 inches thick. The bottom panel is also made out of plastic, and you have 9 Phillips screws in order to access the internal components. Let's take a look. Here goes your 89 watt hour battery pack. This laptop features two 2.5 inch hard drive bays. This one's occupied by one 1 terabyte drive, three fan setup, plus a vapor chamber dual GPU heatsink. You have two RAM slots right here, plus additional two on top of the keyboard, subwoofer, and last but not least, here goes your Intel Core i7-8700K, which is a 6-core desktop level Coffee Lake processor packed inside a laptop. To gain access to the rest of the components, you remove this Phillips screw here by the KB, which stands for the keyboard, and then slide an Allen wrench up slowly to get access. Once you slide your Allen wrench key up, you'll see the keyboard start to lift up from the magnetics. Now you'll see your RAM slots for your 3rd and 4th stick, which can total up to 64GB of RAM. Wireless card, this one features a killer 1535. You also get three M.2 SSD slots. This one's occupied by one Samsung SM961, which is a PCIe NVMe SSD drive that is wicked fast. This is one of the fastest SSD drives I've seen thus far. Here are the ports on the left side of the laptop. You got two RJ45 Ethernets, three USB 3s, four 3.5 millimeter jacks. That also includes a two-in-one microphone headset jack, microphone, line in, and a line out. On the right side, you got an additional USB 3, memory card reader that sits almost flush mount, two Thunderbolt 3 USB 3.1 10 gigabit ports, two mini display port 1.3, and a Kensington security lock slot. And towards the back, you got an HDMI 2.0 port, USB 3.0 port, and your AC charging port. You also get an ESS Sabre Hi-Fi DAC, which gives you the cleanest and highest purest audio sound quality push directly to your headphones. On the top of the keyboard by the power button, you have some status LED indicators for your hard disk, airplane mode, number lock, screen lock, and your caps lock. This laptop features a 17.3 inch quad HD panel, which gives you a resolution of 2560 by 1440. It's also 120 hertz and a five millisecond response time. Keep in mind the base model quad HD panel does have some banding issues. However, with normal usage, you won't be able to tell unless you look very closely. My review unit has a second tier $175 upgraded quad HD panel that doesn't have any banding issues. However, for my money, I would stick with the base quad HD panel because it's not really a problem. And plus you get G-Sync. Even for a TN panel, the viewing angles are surprisingly pretty good, unless you're tilting the display back. Now if you want this display calibrated, HID Evolution will perform a calibration and save it to a USB drive for $50. The keyboard spacing on this laptop is really good, and the feedback from these keys offer very good feedback. Key travel and typing performance is pretty solid overall, and if you're a heavy type or a heavy gamer, the sound levels are very good. This is an RGB backlit keyboard, but keep in mind there's only three controllable zones that you can customize. The cool thing here is you can cycle through different lighting patterns. And you can also customize the lights on top of the laptop. Now let me give you guys a quick demo of the different lighting patterns you can cycle through. Trackpad performance has been superb. Two finger scrolling, tracking, and multi-touch has been really responsive. And you get two physical buttons for the total control. In the top left you get the fingerprint reader, which works really well. Alright, let's get to one of the main attractions of the show, and this one's the HID Evolution Deleted unlocked, undervolted, and overclocked 8th generation Intel Core i7-8700K, which is a 6-core 12-threaded processor running at 4.7 GHz. However, HID Evolution overclocked it to 4.8 GHz. This is by far the strongest CPU I ever tested inside of a laptop because this is a desktop processor packed inside of a laptop. How cool is that, guys? That takes it a step further and makes this laptop more upgradable in the future for better performance. And the next main attraction of the show, which is probably the most important in terms of gaming laptops, is the GTX 1080 with 8GB of GDDR5 plus a vapor chamber dual GPU heatsink for better performance. This GPU is very strong. You can play the most demanding games even at 4K without breaking a sweat, but for the sweet spot I recommend playing at Quad HD for the best performance. Now for those of you guys that got the money, you can run two 1080s and SLI for the ultimate performance. Here's a quick sample of Overwatch running at 2560 by 1440 on epic settings. And as you can see, I'm getting an average around 120 
to 130 frames per second. This game just runs super smooth on this laptop. Next up is Battlefield 4, again running at 2560 by 1440 on ultra settings. I'm getting an average around 120 to 128 frames per second. Next up is Battlefield 1, again running the same settings, 2560 by 1440 ultra settings, and this game just runs super smooth. Let's move to a more intense action scene, and you'll see the frames drop to around 105 to 110 frames per second, but again, it's still running very smoothly thanks to the powerful GTX 1080. Next up we have PUBG running at 2560 by 1440 on high settings and I'm getting an average around 95 to 115 frames per second. Overall with the GTX 1080 combined with the Core i7-8700K gives you incredible gaming horsepower. Like I said at the beginning of the video this laptop features a Prima BIOS which is a custom BIOS for this laptop. It just gives you the total control of this laptop, kind of like a manual transmission for a car. You get to basically customize everything you want on this laptop based on your needs, from the ability to overclock or underclock your CPU, control voltage, watts, amps for the best performance or thermal efficiency. For example, this CPU was overclocked to 4.8 GHz compared to the base turbo speed of 4.7 GHz. Like I said, it just gives you the total control of your laptop. I'll post a description of what the benefits of a Primo BIOS are, I'll let you guys take a look from there. Let's take a look at the external temperatures on this laptop. The top section is going to be the hottest at around 47 degrees Celsius. The WASD keys remain pretty cool, coming in around 37 degrees Celsius. And the bottom right palm rest, 40 degrees Celsius. For the best cooling performance as shown, make sure you guys upgrade to the Vapor Chamber Dual GPU Heatsink and upgrade to the $30 Thermal Interface Materials. With this combination, you'll usually get better cooling performance of up to 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. Overall, I've been highly impressed with the cooling efficiency of this laptop. I was expecting a much hotter performance, especially with some desktop level components inside. After 3-4 to four hours of extended gameplay, the average GPU temperature was usually around 74 to 78 degrees Celsius. That's pretty impressive. The fan levels can get pretty loud at times, coming in at around 50 to 55 decibels, which isn't too bad for a GTX 1080 laptop. The Cleveland Control Center does give you access to some performance settings and fan speed controls. You get maximum, automatic, overclock, and custom. Now if you plan on using maximum fan speeds, it can reach up to 60 decibels. Battery performance is pretty short, coming from the 89 watt hour battery pack because of the desktop level components. You can expect around 45 minutes of gameplay on the battery pack and about an hour and 30 minutes on light duty activities like browsing the web, word processing, and watching movies. With one GTX 1080, you're going to be rocking one 330 watt power supply. However, if you have two 1080s in SLI, you'll be rocking two of these babies. I only have one minor complaint is the AC power cord tip. I wish it was about one feet longer. That would have made it much easier on my desk. Hey, what's up guys? Testing one, two, three. This is how the webcam looks on this laptop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. There are two top facing Foster audio speakers and the sound quality is excellent. This is one of the best sounding laptops I heard thus far. They just sound rich, punchy, and the low end offers a very nice kick. Overall, it sounds great. So let's get to the conclusion of the Evoque P870 TM1. This is a true desktop replacement. If you've been looking for a laptop that has the power of a desktop, then look no further. The only con you can really think about here is the price, but you gotta pay to play. With that being said, this laptop is a true powerhouse with a very strong desktop CPU. The GTX 1080 on here just begs to be pushed. When you combine that with a custom Prima BIOS, great TN panel screen with very good color accuracy, and those awesome Foster audio speakers, did you got yourself a great mobile workhorse that is ready for anything you throw at it. Even when this laptop is put under pressure, the temperature has never gotten to an uncomfortable range. And the cool thing here is expandability. You can add up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, three M.2 drives, two 2.5 inch drives, and you get the ability to upgrade your CPU. Just imagine in a couple years, once we get the ability to upgrade your GPU, that'll definitely be a game changer for sure. Once again, I want to thank Donald and his team at HIDEvolution.com. Those guys offer incredible sales, service, and support. I recently had a chat with one of their support guys on some software and overclock issues I had and they got me up and running in no time. Alright guys, this about wraps my review on the Evoc P870 TM1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.